Howdy y'all and welcome on in. It's your boy, Joe Bond Skeeter. Thank you so much for being a part of the Joe Bond Skeeter community here on YouTube.com. Sometime I want to do a little invasion on him. I'm playing that Invader game. Sometimes you invade a world full of people that done killed up a whole damn mess of world. And in that instance, you gotta learn it real quick. How quick three people who ain't got not a damn thing to do can just get rid of you. Cause that's all they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you've been there before. Joe Bond Skeeter stay living in that world. Always want to come back in for another round. Until I do. Joe Bond Skeeter coming back in a world of war monger. And I never been over free, never been a way to steal we wanna try and find a way to win. So I hit him up with that job cannon Z cause at the time you know what you're expecting. You fooled me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. But fool me three times and fuck the peace sign and load the chopper, let it rain on you. You know, little bit of that. Hit him with some other revenge tip. Cause we stay on there, just keep on getting the revenge. Joe Bon Skeeter don't ever gonna quit. You're gonna leave that taunter tongue up. Joe Bon Skeeter gonna keep a coming in. Uh, now you can see this away that he done got rid of one of the one of the ones that we was dealing with earlier. Now they're just the two. They take the two they bring in the blue. Cause it's never enough. They never enough. They gotta have all that advantage just coming at you. And now you done see that you done made a mistake. I know you wanna just sit around here trying to farm the old invader best you can do. So I ain't gonna make it easy on you. I'm gonna keep coming at you from different ways at different angles. I'm never gonna hit you with the same way twice, you know what I'm saying? Unless you make it real obvious that you don't know how to be rolling. You roll bad, well, Joe Bon Skeeter gonna know that. He gonna take advantage. Yeah, they call me Advantage Taking Joe Bon Skeeter. That used to be my name when I went to college. They used to say, oh, here come old Joe Bon, Advantage Taking Skeeter. Because of the way I was taking advantage all the time. Anytime it was something to take advantage, I would be taking it. I wouldn't even ask you twice. I'd ask you one time. And if you was giving it up, and Joe Bond Skeeter gonna take it advantage. And you see me fighting him here in that stairway. Let me tell you something about stairways. Stairs where mechanics go to die, boy. You ain't never gonna do nothing on those stairs. I hate fighting on the stairs. Matter of fact, they used to call me that back in college. They say, here come old Joe Bond Skeeter. I hate fighting on the stairs. On account of me fighting on stairs and hating it so much all the time. Here come old Joe Bond. Hates fighting on the stairs, Skeeter. That was my name. That was what they called me. This boy here who I'm trying to turn into a dragon. It's funny, ain't it? It's funny, ain't it? Now they got all this overpower shit going on right here. And then what happened? The moment they get that, the moment they gotta defend themselves one on one, but Joe Von Skeeter, what gonna happen? You know what gonna happen. They going down. We stay killing them up in this house right here. Never even stood a chance. But now you done seen that they called up that other one. Remember, they was three. When we got here, they was just a two. Well, we took care of the blue. They called back up that third man. He coming back. I ain't afraid of no third man. Let me tell you something. Joe Bond Skeeter know exactly what to do with that third man right there. I ain't gonna fight him on no stairs, that's for damn sure. I'ma tell you nothing right now. I'm gonna leave that there for later up. I'm gonna let them take a look at me. I'm gonna let them take a look at me, let them see me. I made a little miscalculation jumping over that balcony right there. What I wanted to do was go up that ladder, but I done messed it up a little bit. 
fell down the whole damn way, but it ain't no thing. What for on account of, uh, you play this game right here, you know a little something about Phantom Bloody Finger gonna take us right where we need to go. First, we're gonna make sure they ain't got this shortcut open now. A lot of them, uh, a lot of them gankers ain't gonna open up that shortcut right there. They wanna know if they rush you in there, you stuck in there, boy. You stuck in that little room of hell. I'm gonna make sure that. I'm gonna make sure they got that clothes like that. But it ain't no thing. Cause we use that phantom bloody finger right here like that. We come back around. We gonna climb up this ladder. I can tell Joe Bonsky to just take a little look on his compass right there. I can see that host. He's sitting on that spiral ass road at stairways that right there I know he just a hanging out and waiting I'm gonna show him where I'm at I'm right here you ought to come up here and get you some of this so I'm gonna try and hit him with a jaw cannon and I'd love to hit that shot right there I'd love to have that in back right there I'd love to shoot that cannon right there and just absolutely chuck a bow pop pop knock him down and the bow bow down but no it just wouldn't have meant to be, but that's all right. Joe Bon Skeeter can't get you with the left, and he gets you with the right. Joe Bon Skeeter switching on over. We go from the jaw cannon over to the bow and the arrow. This bow and this arrow right here is a big old bow. Kill a big old bug. Put his head up on the wall and make venison jerky, y'all. Joe Bon Skeeter verticality. Joe Bon Skeeter invented jumping high up off the top of the rope and coming down low. Joe Bon Skeeter verticality. Joe Bon Skeeter chop up too. You think Joe Bon Skeeter done? We done killed a one. We done killed a two. The only one left is the main man. Hell, we even threw in a damn bonus blue spirit come in here. And he get chop up too because he like to defend these gankers. He like, he like a defending them. He say, uh, oh, I, I help you, I help you, I help you, gank, I'm blue, I'm blue. Well, he ain't shit but dead corpses in a turd now. Here come a host, let's, he wanna go to the boss now. Now that he am all alone, he wanna go to the boss now, don't he? He ain't gonna go to shit except the graveyard in them bones. Where he's been buried up in a whole mess of hole. Holy crap. Wow. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Saint Riot. And I have got to give a very special shout out to the the co-host of this video, Joe Bon Skeeter. Uh, this has been a just a wonderful collaboration. It's been years in the making. Joe Bon Skeeter and I, we go way back. We go way back to so the earliest Joe Bon Skeeter uh, YouTube videos back when he was playing uh, Halo 2. And I have always been a huge fan. And so when Joe Bon and I got to talking and, and he said, I would love to send you one of my invasion clips and you could feature it in one of your videos really it was an honor and a privilege for me you know Joe Bon Skeeter has millions of YouTube uh, subscribers and viewers and they all love him so much and after his historic battle uh, against dickhole cancer where he came out on top um, you guys might remember that it was Joe Bon Skeeter versus dickhole cancer in a steel cage match and Joe Bon Skeeter uh, hit dick hole cancer right in the face with a steel chair and really you know let's be honest no one wanted to see it win you know we all hate it it's a piece of shit and we were happy to see joe bon skeeter come out on top but yeah ever since that moment you know so here we have uh this is a typical invasion thing that might happen to you you i made a mistake you know i ran up on this guy i accidentally hit him and, you know, I, I tried to, like, wiggle my sticks to apologize, uh, my sword. I tried to wiggle my sword to apologize to him. I was hoping he would wiggle his sword back at me. 
I was hoping we might have some sort of, uh, you know, hey, you know, let's start over. We just got off on the wrong foot, you know. But this guy, he just doesn't seem like he wants to have a lot to do with it. So, you know, it just happens like that sometimes. Sometimes that's just the way it is. We need to turn around, you know, but we don't know what to expect from this host. Uh, we don't know what to expect from anybody, except that this, you know, guy, he really wants to beat the hell out of me. Every time I turn around, I, I make a mistake, but it's okay. We did learn something. This guy has enough poise that he can withstand a two-handed light attack from a straight sword, and that's a lot of poise. That's a lot of poise. So now that we're fully healed up, uh, you know, we're going to try and, and really make the most of this situation right here. Uh, our opponent is in using Endure and then uh, attacking me. And this is a thing that people who use Endure do. Endure is basically like the, hey, I'm getting ready to attack button. So you, you, it essentially is just like a, hey, parry me, please. And we are going to be all too happy uh, to, to give him what he wants. But we're going to give him a little extra. And they call that the burrito. And look how clean this is. Look how clean that burrito is. That's, that's when your boyfriend works at Taco Bell. And you're like, hey, babe, would you please roll my burrito up for me? And, and you know, he just knows how to do it. He just knows how to roll that burrito up. Because he spends all his time working at Taco Bell. And they're still not going to make him assistant manager. They're picking Jeremy. And do you know why they picked Jeremy? Oh, well, it couldn't be because Jeremy's dad is the manager. It couldn't be that, could it? Nepo Jeremy at Taco Bell uh, is probably one of the worst character types of all. And, um, yeah. But that was just a beautiful burrito. Obviously, had to include that in the video. Um, and after that, Joe Bon Skeeter, uh, what else, you know, could follow the legendary Joe Bon Skeeter except for a legendary burrito? So, it just made a lot of sense to put that in the video. And that's one of the things that, you know, you really need to think about. This is a little tip for you content creators out there, you aspiring content creators. Your content needs to make sense so that people can understand it. And um, that that just made too much sense to include a legendary burrito after a legendary Jobon Skeeter invasion. Absolutely heartbroken that we didn't get that backstab right there, but it's all right and it's okay. Uh, and we'll just find another way to, to really come out here and, and make do and, you know, other you, there's, there's several ways to make do. Okay, but let me tell you about the quickest way. The quickest way is to just wait till the morning. Look at these. Look at this frog casting bubbles. Look at it. Isn't that crazy? You know, I get comments all the time from somebody on this channel who wants me to put bubble invasions in my videos. And you know what? There you go. There's a frog head casting bubbles. That's exactly what you wanted. And now. We've waited, you've waited, and we've all just we've all just made do, haven't we? Because the sun's coming up and the atmosphere is changing and all the moisture in the air is getting pulled up out and onto the grass it goes, out of the ground and onto the grass, making do. Is that how do gets made? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Because I'm not a geologist. I'm a guy who plays Elden Ring. And, and that's what you're going to get. When you come to this channel, you can always expect to see a guy playing Elden Ring. To the best of his ability. For you. And for me. And that's the sort of content that I that, that is going to keep you coming back. It's that sort of reliable content. You know? You can always rely on it. Check this out. We are hiding. We're wearing that sneaky, sneaky talisman. And there goes the white mask katana. This guy's got too much poise. He is not going to fall off the, the ledge there. Well, since he has a lot of poise, we'll use a colossal sword. Because a colossal sword is going to break his poise, isn't it? It's going to really give him uh, something to think about. Here's a heavy attack. Let's go for a fully charged heavy attack. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? What a beautiful uppercut. There are just so many great things happening in this video. So many great St. Riot moments. 
And I want to thank you for being here, for being a part of these moments. Here's looking at you, kid. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to have some great videos in the future. They're going to be so much fun for you. And they're all going to make sense. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, you're just going to have to make do. Later, y'all.